Hey, good morning. This is Chuck with Apple Drains. Today we're down in a crawl space installing footer tiles and what we've done so far is we've actually trenched around the entire perimeter and um, we're going to be grading out the soil and putting the moisture barrier back and then we're going to come back and put in some gravel perforated pipe which all leads over to a core discharge at the lowest point of the crawl space. The reason we're doing this is because water's been coming through these walls and just totally flooding this crawl space every time it rains. And this soil is really wet. Take a look. This is the back of the crawl space and you can see just really how wet the soil is. And you can see that water mark along the wall itself. That water just sits in that soil, has no place to go at all. Here on the other side of the crawl space, the same thing. You can see that white powdery substance along the wall there. That's efflorescence. And if you look down through the trench, you can see water that's already seeped up through the bottom of the trench. Even though that's the footer, that's concrete that we're right on top of. That's seeped up through there and come right up into the trench, already starting to flow, even without gravel or perforated pipe. So this is what a footer tile looks like after you've trenched it. And you can see this runs all the way down to the corner. And in that corner, there is a hole through the wall. We call that a core discharge. And it sits right on top of the footer. Coming back, you can still see our trench. Goes around to that corner. And of course, now it just continues up the back of the crawl space, going clear to the very back. This trench goes all the way around this crawl space, bringing bringing that water down into the trench through the gravel perforated pipe and it discharges over here at the core. Let's go over there and take a look at that core so you can see it. But there's where we're going to discharge right down into that little hole and that should go through the wall and on out into the ground. Now we did suggest putting a sump pump in this corner lifting this water up and going through the wall here to the outside because sump pumps do work better. They go down two more feet, surrounded by gravel, and the water does not stay in this trench at all. There's a couple obstacles here. You can see the sewer line where we had to go underneath of it. Now we're sitting right on top of the footer, so we really can't go any deeper. We don't want to go any deeper. We just need to be on the top of the footer to allow that water to come down from the top of the crawl space which is way back there, you can't really see it in this picture, but comes all the way down through this trench and discharges over here at the core foundation. Hey, good morning, Chuck here at the Apple Drains. Today uh, we're installing uh, the, the actual footer tile with gravel and perforated pipe. And we've got it stretched out there. And when you're all by yourself, you kind of roll out your pipe, pull it in, bring your bags of gravel in one at a time takes a little while but I guarantee you can do it. So here's our pipe all stretched out way over into the neighbor's yard and now I'm pulling it into the crawl space and we're going to take it all the way up to that front wall which you can kind of see up there and we're going to start laying some gravel and some pipe should take us about an hour, hour and a half, or take me an hour, hour and a half. <clears throat> this is a project that you could do yourself, but if you have a helper, it sure is a lot easier. You know, these bags weigh about 40 to 50 pounds, and you gotta drag them back. Of course, you're crawling, and it does take a while. It takes a lot of labor, but we did the hard part yesterday, and that was trenching out the, along the perimeter. So, I'd say it'd take about an hour and a half, and well, I'll have this done. Take a look. So right now I'm pulling this pipe in. It's stretched out a hundred feet out to the neighbor's yard and I got to pull it all the way back here to the back. It gets stuck on corners. That's all right. We'll get it.
Okay, got some pipe back there. Now I'm gonna start bringing bags of gravel. You can see what they are over here. There's our gravel by the door of the crawl space and I have lots more in the trailer. We're gonna bring those all the way up to that front corner where the light is. That's where I'll start. That's the lowest point of the least headroom of the crawl space, hardest area to work. Down here, lots of headroom. Well, you know, three and a half feet. That's pretty good. So let's bring some gravel. This is one bag of gravel at a time. Okay, we've got some pipe back there and some gravel, but we just got to keep moving more, so hang in there. <clears throat> you know, I thought I could move two at a time, but I can only take one back here in this tight space. A little slow going. Okay, so here's our perforated pipe that I've brought here to this tiny little corner of the crawl space and you can see there's only about two feet maybe a foot and a half of room here at the beginning but we're going to lay that but first we have to lay a little base of gravel down in our footer in our trench and then we put the pipe in and then we'll cover it up i've already laid the little base of gravel now i'm just going to pull this pipe around to the corner here and put it in the trench Of course it's stuck back there. <laughs> what can you do? Now we're going to pour some gravel on top of the pipe. We've already got a base underneath. Now we're gonna go get some more gravel. <laughs> Be right back. <clears throat> we already have our base of gravel down underneath of this perforated pipe. Now we're just filling up the trench with gravel. And this is drainage rock. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. Works great, allows water to perk right through it. Basically it floods from the bottom up into the holes in the pipe and is carried away. Lots of bags, about 60, 70 bags in this crawl space. But it goes real quick. Once we get the pipe in, installed here, then we just pour the gravel. Then when we're all done, we just take our moisture barrier and cover up the gravel and that's complete. So you can see that was just a couple of bags and I'm already halfway down this wall. The hard part is bringing the gravel back here. Be prepared, be prepared for some heavy labor. Okay, gonna go get some more gravel. Be getting around the crawl space with 50 pounds of gravel, it takes a little bit of work, but 
once you get back here, it's pretty easy. <laughs> open up your bag and pour it. You can see our gravel goes around the corner up there. It comes down, comes around this corner, and we're here to here. We're almost out of the little crawl space. We just have one more bag and we're done back here in this real tight spot. And then things will go a lot faster. So that should do it for this corner. You can see we've come around. We've got gravel going all the way back up. So let's move on. So we're coming in the crawl space. You can see that we've laid the moisture barrier back down and we've put our perimeter tile all the way around this crawl space, the footer tile, and this is what that looks like. You can see our gravel perforated, well you can't see the perforated pipe, but you see the gravel. Uh, we bring that gravel right up to grade at the bottom of the crawl space, right here, of the dirt, and then we recover that with the moisture barrier. So this one's done, it all discharges over to that corner where I showed you the core drain, and this should keep this crawl space much, much drier. So this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.